With over a million locations in just about every country in the world, gas stations are probably one of the most frequently visited places. However, what most people don't know is that some gas stations are absolutely amazing. For example, in Thailand, you have a two floor 7-Eleven with a freaking robot. In Texas, you have a gas station the size of 22 7-Elevens. And in Japan, you have snacks labeled as literally dangerous. However, there's one gas station that takes things to an entirely new level by housing the world's best gas station food, which we'll be living on for the next 24 hours. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to paradise. Okay, so how this store works is there's three massive floors with food options that you couldn't even believe. So right now for breakfast, I'm gonna look for the bakery on the first floor. Holy crap, this does not look like my typical gas station bakery. Uh, an espresso? Yeah? You, you want double espresso? Uh, doubles, yeah. Yes. Good, yeah. Doubles it's always. Strong. Yeah, it's always. <laughs> and can I have crema e pistachio? Yes, yes. And, uh, are, so. Uh, this is a very, very good ciambella. Ciambella? Yeah. It's the best. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, and the bakery just continues and continues. I have no idea where the shoe is from. Grazie. And for you, double. Holy crap, we, we're starting off this day strong. Okay, so of course from the sweet side of the bakery, we got the croissant which what looks like is jacked up with certain cream filling and also pistachio. Then of course we got her recommendation of the Italian donut here. And of course the absolutely delicious prosciutto and mozzarella sandwich. Look at the layers on there. Now, I've spent a lot of time in Paris. I've eaten my fair share of croissants, and honestly, usually at gas stations, they'll have some type of croissant. It's honestly usually just from a factory. And this, you can taste the deepness. You can even see the layers in there that they baked it here fresh. And now the donuts. I know it's gonna sound cringy, cheesy, whatever. It was like a freaking opera in my mouth. I mean, nowadays with so much like, fast donut places. I'm not knocking on Dunkin' Donuts, not knocking on any of those places, but in this day and age, I feel like I'm like 80 years old. In this day and age, when I was young. Anyway, what I'm trying to say, when you normally get a donut, you, you are, but you're not necessarily looking for like the most fresh thing. More so like sugar, kind of a decent above average freshness. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, tastes like it just came out of the oven. The sandwich time. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I definitely do have a guilty pleasure for gas station sandwiches. Sure, they're not typically like amazing, but it's fast, normally delicious, and surprisingly a lot of varieties to choose from. But ladies and gentlemen, this sandwich here, I mean, take a look at that bite. The products are fresh, the meat is amazing, the cheese is literally off the chain. Yeah. Off the chain. Is that a word? Off the chain. Honestly, I've gone to restaurants and their sandwiches haven't even been close to this. So from the cheese to the meat to the bread, this sandwich is perfection. Lunchtime, and I don't think I've ever been more excited for lunch. So for lunchtime, I've gone to a level where there's just a bunch of different products. Think of it like your traditional gas station aisle, just on, just on steroids. For example, this entire section here is just a bunch of homemade and dry pasta. And you have anything here from different types of spaghetti to massive pasta to my personal favorite, fresh freaking homemade. Pasta. How is this a gas station? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little basket here and we're gonna have an absolute buffet hour for lunch. Oh crap, look at this beautiful looking sausages, amazing looking cheese. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna choose products that I haven't had before but still look amazing. So first for the cheese, gotta go with one of these. I have absolutely no idea what that is. First, gotta get some fresh bread. I gotta get some salami. Oh my gosh, these aisles feel more like a luxury store than a gas station. Every aisle I go down, I just keep on finding something new, something amazing, something delicious, something that I need to try, like need to try. Oh my God. And I just keep on getting distracted. Take a look at this. <laughs> look at these massive freaking containers of cookies. Okay, somebody pinched me. This is not real. Look at, oh my God. Definitely gonna get one of those. And this stuff here seems to be like the typical gas station food. I think I'm gonna just get one of these to try it. And of course, you know I gotta get some snacks. Oh, what? 
Are these like the Italian versions of cheese balls? Just truffles in a can. Ooh, Nutella biscuits. I've eaten a lot of Nutella, but I've never had Nutella biscuits before. Is this a freaking pie in a package? Okay, I'm definitely gonna go with this pie in the package. Okay, now I'm gonna get a mystery snack. Something that I don't know what it is, and I've never seen before. Don't understand the packaging on, and potentially scares me. I think I'm gonna go with a sauce. Go see gome. It has a pepper slash tomato on the front of it. And because I don't speak Italian, I'm not sure if it's gonna be hot or just mild. <sighs> Why do I get myself into these things? Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, just take a look at all this food. I literally have like a cookie sword. So anyway, put two minutes on the clock. Let's get this rapid fire tasting of lunch started. So first up the Italian cheese balls. All their corn balls, it literally tastes like corn I need to get this thing open. How do I do that? Anyway, we have the salami. Wow, I've never tasted a better salami before in my life. Holy freaking cow. The only way I can describe that bite is it was like the first time I've ever tasted salami before. This one, it was like each one of those little fat pieces there there. Just had like a burst in like different types of flavor. It was sweet, there was salty, there was weirdly fruity, and it all came from one piece of salami. I'm going to get this freaking cheese open. Why can't I get this open? Regular sandwich. Oh wow, they prepped it so nice. Holy crap. And from the looks of this, this is possibly the most gourmet pre-made sandwich I've ever seen. <laughs> What? Okay, there is no reason why every gas station in the world should not have this sandwich. Oh. Cheese to meat to beautiful tomato ratio. This freaking cheese. Oh my gosh. It's coming open. It's coming open. Yeah! So what you do is you tear off this thing here and then there's your cheese. Unbelievable, insanely rich cheese. But I gotta say, the hardest cheese I've had to ever work for. <laughs> okay, so I have the unknown thing here. I have the focaccia. Seeing that I'm not sure if it's like super hot, I'm gonna wait till the end just in case to like recover a little bit. Cookie spear. I don't, cookies come like this in the US. Cookie, come on. This looks like a kind of type of Oreo. Perfection. <laughs> a freaking pie. I feel kind of like a boss taking a bite out of a whole pie. Dude, damn, that, that's a high quality pie from a bakery, let alone in a freaking package. Okay guys, we have to have a very serious talk. We have the mystery sauce and we have focaccia. That smells decently spicy. This is, um, <laughs> this is getting me a bit scared. Hello, focaccia. You look so nice. Taking a big help in there. Oh, fine with spice, but it's just like this feeling sometimes that I have where it's like, you never feel fully recovered during the day. Like, you feel fine, but there's always something bubbling down there. <sighs> okay. I am good. Here, I thought I was gonna be like just overtaken by like ghost peppers. Meanwhile, I think I just bought tomato sauce with a little bit of tang in it. Okay, so dinner time. Now we've seen their convenience store, we've seen their bakery, slash freaking deli. But now ladies and gentlemen, we're going to a place that blew my mind when I saw it, of a gourmet restaurant. Ciao. Thank you. Everything just smells so freaking good. It just smells like cheese, pasta, and pizza. Oh my gosh, and everything looks so good. There's an antipasti, delicious looking salads, lasagna, and all these other different types of pasta. And then look at all of this pizza here. It's honestly gonna be hard to choose. Uh, uh, margarita. And uh, do you have a recommendation? 
Huh? Uh, that's sorry. Luca. <laughs> ah, okay. For pizza, for uh, second plane, uh, for... Uh, anything. Uh, allora, yeah. the patria of uh, ciocciolina with cream of cheese. Yeah. Or lasagna bolognese, it's uh, oh. wonderful. Lasagna, yeah. it's so, so good. What would you choose? Me? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is margarita. Ah, okay. amazing. With Thank tomato you. sauce wow. and mozzarella. Oh, oh it looks amazing. Yeah. Thank Good you. Regina. Oh my gosh, so do we have a feast here? The first dish that we went with was the recommendation of the waiter. And it's basically an Italian version of mac and cheese with a combination of fresh tortellini mixed in Parmesan cream sauce. And then of course we have the absolutely beautiful margarita. Oh my gosh, but I need to try this Italian version of mac and cheese. Oh my freaking lord. Okay, I'm not knocking the box version of mac and cheese whatsoever. Here you have fresh homemade tortellini and cream sauce that is absolutely insane. And every time you bite into it, it's just this like burst. Like again, not knocking mac and cheese in a box. Love craft, love the mac and cheese once in a while at 4 a.m. This here, everyone, this is like, this is a real meal. I think one of my favorite things about pizza in Italy is just the pure imperfection of the slices. Every pizza comes in a different shape, size, look. No pizza is made the same. And oh my god, do they invent a completely different definition of the New York fold. Look at how thin that slice is. Oh my lord. Every time I eat a pizza pizza in Italy, it's like just being welcomed back home. The taste is rich, the taste is quality, the taste is pure homemade. And the sauce is nothing short completely artisanal and just look at that fresh basil on there few things do i like more than a fresh italian pizza but seeing that it's at a gas station i'm gonna have to redefine my definition of gas station food i mean this isn't just good pizza this isn't just great pizza but this is pizza that's literally it could be considered an art form this entire day this is a straight 10 out of 10.